we are standing at the Leonis Adobe, uh, which is City Historic Cultural Monument number one, the very first site to be designated a local historic landmark in Los Angeles. The Leonis Adobe reflects the earliest development of the San Fernando Valley. There's so many layers of history here at this site. Miguel Leonis was what we consider um, a land grabber. When Miguel Leonis decided to occupy the space, he built the Leonis Adobe House um, in the early 1870s. He had claimed this land here. The government included this land as available for homesteaders. Well, Miguel couldn't let that happen, so he found an existing adobe structure on the property dating back to 1844. And instead of saying, I'm gonna build a new house. He said, no, there's already an existing structure there. I'm renovating the house. Um, and he built the Leonis Adobe specifically so that this land would not be given up to homesteaders. Los Angeles uh, in the early 1960s, a period of large growth and development, it was going to be demolished. It required the passage of the city's cultural heritage ordinance in 1962 that would enable the preservation of this site and sites like this. The Los Angeles Heritage Commission is what saved this property and saved a piece of Los Angeles history.